Hey, this is Alistair Allen for Make, and this is the new Raspberry Pi 3. The new Raspberry Pi 3 looks a lot like the old Raspberry Pi 2, at least on the surface. But while it's kept the same $35 price tag, a lot of things have changed. The old 32-bit ARM v7 processor has been swapped out for a brand new 64-bit ARM Cortex-A53, clocked at 1.2 GHz. The new Raspberry Pi runs 50% faster than the old Raspberry Pi, and 10 times faster than the original Model B. But that's not all. The new board also comes with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This is a Raspberry Pi not just for the desktop, but for the Internet of Things. Unfortunately, while the hardware supports Bluetooth, both Bluetooth Classic and the arguably more useful Bluetooth Low Energy, the software doesn't. At least not yet, at least not on launch day. When it does, I think we're going to see the Raspberry Pi used far more as a hub for embedded sensor networks. Collections of sensors distributed across the environment, connecting back to the Raspberry Pi using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Low Energy, or a mixture of both. Because it's a perfect platform for the Internet of Things. It's cheap, it's readily available, and it's readily understandable. Pretty much everyone that's interested in the Internet of Things, that interested in building the Internet of Things, can get hold of it and can make use of it. Which doesn't mean that it's no longer good on the desktop side. In fact, I'd say the new Raspberry Pi has crossed the threshold. It's now good enough. It's fast enough. It's not... It's not sluggish anymore. Even for those of us that have grown up in the shadow of Moore's Law, that's quite surprising. It's not that the Raspberry Pi is anything special, although it is, especially for $35. It's that it's possible at all. We're living in an interesting time right now. Moore's Law is coming to an end. It's held for the last 40 years or so, but that's pretty much done. Although companies like Intel or Atmel or ARM won't admit it yet, at least not in public. And it's products like the Raspberry Pi or possibly more so the Raspberry Pi Zero that are signalling that change. This is capable computing, computing that is essentially free, that is good enough to do what you need to do. The Raspberry Pi 3 has crossed the threshold into acceptable desktop performance. For the Internet of Things at least, you don't need acceptable desktop performance. You just need good enough.